Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this car right here. Now what's interesting about this is normally when you make a, a car, you have to have some sort of small to big gear ratio to overcome the force of friction. But here instead of using gears, we just have a little friction drive with the motor and the wheel. Now let me show you how it works. So to start off, we're going to get a piece of foam board and start pulling the paper off it. Now a foam board has paper on both sides and foam in the middle, so go ahead and pull the paper off of both sides of the foam board. Now I went ahead and grabbed a can. This can has a diameter of 8 centimeters. And I'm going to go use the same piece of foam board that we, uh, that we stripped the paper off of. And as you can see I've already done a few other wheels, but what we're going to do is we're going to push the can in to make a nice big outline. Of a, of a circle with a diameter of 8 centimeters, and um, it's going to act as our wheel. Now I'm going to prop it up on books. You can use books or something else, and I'm going to cut it out with the exacto knife. So this here is going to be one wheel, and you're going to have to cut out four of these so that we can have four wheels for the car. So you can go ahead and uh, see me fast forward through this, cutting out this wheel here, and again, you'll have to do four of these, all the same as the first one. Now we're going to move on to the body of the car. We're going to make it a rectangle with dimensions 8 centimeters wide by 20 centimeters long. Now initially I made mine 8 by 12 and then realized it was too short and then had to go and make it longer afterwards. So you can save all that trouble by just making yours 8 by 20 off the bat instead of 8 by 12 like I did in the video here. Now we're going to go ahead and make the wheel and axle assembly. I found a dowel from the dollar store. They have big sets of dowels and I found one in that set that um, fits inside of a straw. So our axle is going to rotate inside of the straw and um, I'm going to cut the straw out. I actually cut mine too short. Later you'll see I have a longer one in place of that one there, but you're going to want to cut it a little wider than the base, so nine centimeters to be safe. And then we have to find the center of the wheel so that we can poke a hole in it. So I got a book and um, anything to prop it up really and draw two lines and rotate it but as you can see those lines aren't too close so I prop it up a little more and draw two more lines and as you can see those are a lot closer together so now I'll draw two lines sideways and there we have it the centers right there so that's where our axle is going to get poked through next we want to be able to put the axle through the wheel so to do that I'm going to sharpen the axle so I can poke a hole through the wheel and I just use a normal pencil sharpener for that now I can poke it through the center I found. And don't forget, you have four wheels, so you can do it for all four wheels. Here I only show two, though. Now I went ahead and fastened one of the wheels onto the axle. And we're going to push the axle through. And as you can see, I made the straw so it's a little wider than the base, so that the wheels don't chafe against the side of our base. And now I'll go push the other wheel on. And you can go ahead and glue both those wheels in. And then uh, see how it rotates. Next comes the friction drive. For this we will need a motor. A motor like this you can find in many, many motorized toys or you can check out my eBay store for this and many other building supplies I use in my videos. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below. Now since the axle of the motor doesn't have enough friction to drive the wheel by itself, we're going to need to do something to give it more friction. So I get the battery pack here. This also you can find in my eBay store. Or you can use any other power source too for this step. And I put some glue on the axle and then I start to rotate the motor. Now when the motor starts to rotate, I can just touch the glue lightly and it'll smooth the glue out so that the whole motor's axle becomes a nice uh, high friction surface to drive the wheel with. Now I got about two pieces of foam, 3.5 centimeters tall by four centimeters wide with the notch in the middle to prop up the motor. Now as you can see, I cut them a little shorter than the motor, and basically you want to cut them so that a straw or a dowel, this, or a dowel the size of a straw, can fit in between the motor and the piece of styrofoam, and the motor will sit on that same angle there with it. Now I'm going to cut out a straw, two, two small pieces of a straw, and I'm going to glue those on the sides later, but now First I'm going to stick the dowel through them just to show you what it looks like. 
and then you can go ahead and glue the straws on like that and see the dowel sticking through the middle it's another dowel that I found at the dollar store and you can go ahead and slide the dowel right through there cut a smaller piece and um, stick a dab of glue in the middle and then just mount the motor right on that just the edge of the motor so now the motor uses its own weight to uh, to determine how hard it's going to press against the wheel. So here we have it. I added a few new things onto the car. If you remember before, I said I cut the uh, base of it too short, the styrofoam base. So this would be the length that it's really supposed to look like. And this is the length you should cut it to. Um, I also glued on the battery pack and made the front wheels exactly the same as I made the back wheels. Uh, same size and everything, same method, and they work exactly the same. Um, now, if you take a look at the way I wire it, I'll attach a picture in a second, but I just made a simple circuit, and right in between those two wires that are unconnected will be a switch. And as you can see, I just have one wire from the battery to the motor, and then if you saw right there, I connected the wire from the, the other wire from the battery to the motor, and it went forward. Now, I just put a switch in between, so that I can actually control when it goes. And I'll attach a picture afterwards of what the circuit should look like. And this here is just a quick look at how it's wired. So here you can see it's wired the exact same way as in the diagram before, and you can turn the switch on and watch it go. And in this last one here, I glued down the battery pack and the switch so none of it flails around. So this concludes the tutorial, and as I said before, a lot of this stuff, like the battery pack, the motor, and the switch, you can find in a lot of electronic or motorized toys that you can take apart. And if you can't find it there, you can check out my eBay store, and, and I'll leave a link in the description below, and I sell a lot of that stuff too. And um, thanks for watching my video. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, if you have any suggestions of things you want to see built, post it, and I'll take a look at it, and maybe I'll build it.